Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for our 2020 LOINC conference. My name is Jennifer Pianke, and I'm one of the project managers here at LOINC. Um, I'm going to be passing this um, opening remarks over to Swapna. She is our interim director. Swapna, it's all you. Great. Thank you. So let me go ahead and share my screen for a minute. So welcome, everybody. Again, we're so excited to, uh, to welcome you to our virtual conference. And uh, my name is Swapna Biankar, and I'm the interim director um, of Blink. And uh, we're super excited. We have more than 260 participants from 40 countries. And so this is our uh, biggest conference by far. Um, we definitely miss seeing you face to face, but I think the virtual platform has actually let us reach more people. So, you know, it's bittersweet, uh, I'll say. Um, before we go into um, Peter Mb's remarks in the keynote, I'd just like to review uh, just a few sort of logistic details. So here's an uh, overview of the schedule. And if you can't find your Zoom links, uh, you can go to conference.link.org and everything will be there for you. Um, the committee meetings are spread out over three days. So we have a combined uh, lab and clinical committee meeting today. Um, this morning, as well as this afternoon. And then the lab meeting um, will be on Thursday morning and the clinical meeting will be on Friday. And then we have a special event uh, by the HHS uh, Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT on Thursday afternoon. So we're very excited about that. Um, and apologies, all of these times are uh, Eastern uh, daylight time for uh, the US East Coast. Um, the workshops are scattered throughout the four days, so uh, a couple of hours today, Thursday and Friday, and then tomorrow is actually sort of a special day uh, with a focus on COVID-19. And then we'll have a break from noon to one, um, again, EDT every day. Um, we'll have 15 minute breaks between sessions and then there's actually different Zoom links for each session. So again, if you, um, if, you, know, if you didn't get the email, um, and we'll be sending actually separate emails for each day of the conference. So for today, uh, you should have gotten an email that had the links just for today. Um, but if you can't find the email, just go to conference.loic.org. All of the free sessions for the committees um, are there without logging in. And then if you sign up for the workshops, uh, when you log in, you'll see the links for those. Um, as Jennifer mentioned, participants can use the Q&A feature or raise their hands and be unmuted. Uh, we've disabled the participant chat for this webinar and during the committee meetings, um, all the committee members will be promoted to panelists and they'll be able to turn on their video and uh, unmute and mute themselves. Um, and again, if you have background noise, please um, go ahead and mute and sharing video is entirely optional. So with that, I would like to um, introduce Peter Mb. He's the um, CEO and president of Reagan Street Institute. Uh, Peter, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Swapna. Um, can you all hear me okay? Yes, sure okay. can. Always good to check these days. So <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with all of you. Uh, Swapna said, I'm Peter Mb. I'm the president and CEO of the Regan Street Institute, and I want to also welcome you all and, uh, and also uh, echo what Swapna said. Uh, really appreciate uh, such uh, a great uh, participation in this. And while it is bittersweet, it is wonderful to be able to uh, connect with so many of you and share the important work that you all are doing. Um, I uh, wanna take a moment to um, introduce my friend and colleague, John, but first I just wanna say a couple of things uh, about um, LOINC. Um, as I'm sure most of you know, uh, LOINC uh, activity has been incredibly uh, active uh, throughout, um, really throughout its existence, but certainly throughout the pandemic. And we've been uh, doing a lot of work uh, in particular from the very start, um, the kinds of efforts that LOINC has led in terms of establishing new uh, codes and um, enhancing the terminology and making it possible for us to be able to uh, understand and interoperate and traffic in the uh, relevant data for COVID has really been invaluable. We certainly have seen this um, locally and regionally, but, but internationally, um, the kinds of uh, things that we've been able to do built on uh, the work of the LOING team has really been extraordinary. So I just want to recognize the LOING team and, uh, and all of you for your contributions um, to the pandemic because it, it really is making a huge difference in people's lives. So thank you for that. Um, 
And uh, I also want to acknowledge how critically important interoperability is. I mean, if it if it was important before, we certainly have recognized the criticality of it during the pandemic. And um, there's just no doubt that um, with the uh, increased uh, uh, kinds of different activities from telemedicine to um, the uh, ways in which uh, people need to be cared for today, interoperability is more important than ever.